We didn't mention it on the last video, but when you are done editing any page, I want to make sure you guys come over here to save changes in the upper right hand corner. And then we can click the back button to go back to this main page. And now we're going to edit our information page or our sales page. So we're going to come over here and click add step. And we're going to name this information. And then we're going to choose the type of page, scroll down and click sales page. And now we have all these templates we can choose from again. So click next, try to find a template that kind of resonates with you. That might be easy to edit because it's kind of got the framework in there already. I'm going to keep scrolling through and kind of find a template that I like that I feel just kind of fits and makes it really easy. So let's keep going. Let's do this one right here. This is one I use a lot and it's really easy to kind of show you how all the editing works. So once we have it chosen, we're going to come over here to edit page in the right hand side and we're going to start from the top. So this is what it looks like here and we're going to start from the very top. So we're going to hover over our logo and click image. We're going to click this little cloud with an arrow in it and either select a file and upload an image, or if you've previously uploaded it, you can simply just click previous. And then we're gonna change the size down here where it says image size and scroll it all the way down to kind of fit the page a little bit better. I take out this entire bar right here just because I don't need multiple pages for this specific funnel. So I just hover over that and click delete. Now we can edit the text. So I'm not going to show you guys exactly what to put in these text boxes. I just want to show you how to edit it. Go through the previous module where we kind of gives you, give you the best practices for automation in itself. And then you guys can utilize tools like ChatGPT and kind of give you a baseline on what to write with a specific tonality to it. Um, because this is just showing you how to edit, not so much teaching the copywriting skills. So we're just going to put here roadmap 3.0, so on and so forth. I just want to show you guys can highlight over, delete, and then put in text in here. Okay. Don't copy this text. Another reason why I don't like to type out certain things is because you want these words to be your own. You want to create this your own. So you have better chances of getting ranked for SEO purposes. You guys don't want to have the exact same words on every single funnel. So you guys can do little check marks here, a bulleted list, or if you ever want to delete it, you can click the trash can. All right. So how to post a video. This is a cut. You have a couple different options here. We're going to highlight the video and go over here to video type. And we either want it to be a custom embed or an upload file. So if you have a video here that you've saved to your computer and you want to upload a file, you can simply just upload the file here, select file, upload it the same way you did your logo and it will play right here. You can always set for autoplay on or off so that it plays as soon as someone sees this page, they don't have to press the play button. And then you can turn the controls on or off, which just allows them to pause and play and change the, um, volume to the video. Now we can edit this little section right here and again, don't put in my words. I just want to show you how the editing works. If you ever want to change the color, you guys can click this little checkered box and then you can choose the colors right here. Oh, make sure it's highlighted first then come over here and click the buttons, whatever color you want to change that. Then you can take out this little extra stuff right here by just hovering over the trash can hover over the trash can. You can take out the price if you so choose. And if you just want to put the price on the order page, you can, or you can just be upfront and put it right here. Totally up to you. We can edit this little text underneath. Um, and then this button is also very important. So you can change this button by highlighting over it. And just like prior, you guys can change what it says here. Okay. Whatever you want to put inside the button. You can even change the fonts right here and then you can change the background color right here. And again, you guys can edit your hex codes right here. If you are using the coolers tool, so you have a whole branding template. And then we want to make sure that while this button is highlighted, 
the action when button clicked is to the next step URL. This allows people to go once they click this button directly to your order page in your funnel. Okay. This just sends them to the next step in the funnel. So make sure that's highlighted to the next step. Now we can come down here and edit the same way. These could be your program details. And again, you can use these system.io templates as a guide on what to write where. So this is a great place for program details, a great place for um, kind of speaking to your target audience on who this program serves and for whatever you're selling. Okay. And if you ever want to take an entire section out, you just simply hover over the trash can. Same thing down here. If you want to take this entire section out, hover over it and do the trash can. But this template is great because again, this shows you what skills people will acquire once they go through your program, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you are selling the roadmap 3.0 and you have been given your certificate, this would be a great place to upload your certificate as a photo because that allows you to prove to your customers that you are a trusted resource to buy it from. So this looks a little bit strange. This has changed. Just so let me see if I can upload a photo. Okay, here we go. So once you have this little square highlighted, and if you guys have any of those on your funnel template, you can do the same thing. Highlight over it and click this little button. And then if you have a certificate, we can click that and you can paste it right here. So you actually can show your potential customers that you are a trusted reseller of the product. Um, and that can go for anything, you know, whatever the case is, whatever you guys are selling, just upload a picture there the same way. And then you can give a little description here, etc. Now we get into the fun stuff of actually putting in the information to the course or product or service that you're selling, especially if you're doing online courses and you want to list out module for module, what people will learn. This part gets a little tricky, but I'm going to show you guys step for step how to edit this.